people, my name is Zach Dowdy. Today we're talking about school yards, schools versus skate parks. What's the difference, what's the nuances? A lot of skate parks are actually built off the infrastructure at school. So we're gonna explore this topic while we go on a session with my friend Tyrone Olson and a bunch of his friends. They're always out street skating, filming, working on things. So we're gonna kind of just uh, talk about this topic. What's better, skate park or schoolyard? And why sometimes skaters still prefer a schoolyard or streets versus a curated skate park. People might assume schoolyards and school spots are always for very experienced or professional good skateboarders, but look at this little roll on grind right here. It's like you can learn how to 50 50 here. You can learn all your basics at a schoolyard just like you can at a skate park. I mean, one might argue it's actually more space to learn. You might be more, uh, I don't know, you might be more encouraged to learn how to skate. One of the advantages, we'll talk about the advantages first and then the disadvantages of a schoolyard versus a skate park. But this little courtyard area that we're at right now, there's all these plastic benches that you can move anywhere. They're perfect, they grind really good and you're able to move around up and down stairs. You will move trash cans around. They even have a water fountain here. So to the right person, this could even be better than a skate park because if you're a beginner, you can set up beginner obstacles. If you're a professional, you can set up a professional obstacle to do different things. So it's a little more dynamic in a schoolyard as far as the actual environment goes. I recently made a video about my social anxiety around skate parks. It can be really anxiety inducing because there's so many good people there. There's a lot of people in general. So the thing, and I think another advantage to a schoolyard is that you can really skate by yourself or with a small crew. Right now we have a small crew here, lots of different levels of skating. And I think that makes for a more intimate session, a more enjoyable session. You're not worried about people getting in your way or maybe hurting a kid if you're older like me, things like that. So the environment alone feels a lot more of an incentive to skate and try different things and enjoy yourself in general. Now, I don't want to point out the obvious, but I'm going to point out the obvious. Skate parks are basically built off of schools so that they can have an area where skateboarders can be more confined and controlled. They won't want skateboarders at schools when they're not being in use for campus. Well, some schools actually do allow skateboarding while there isn't school in session. It makes a lot of sense. But the big difference is basically schoolyards have everything that are in skate parks like stair sets, ledges, I mean even flat rails, down rails, um, all sorts of different obstacles. So really everything that you find in a skate park, mostly you do find in a schoolyard. The one exception would be a backyard pool, which you find in backyards versus in the same area. And that is the big difference is basically skate parks are curated school for people where they also bring the backyard pool. Skate parks, you kind of have to adapt to the skate park. You have to, you know, skate the rail that's there, skate the environments there. You can't change things around as easily as you can at a schoolyard. One thing that I think we definitely need to address when exploring this topic is the sensation or the feeling that you get at a skate park landing a trick versus a schoolyard landing a trick. This bank behind me, for example, is a rad spot, near perfect. Not perfect, but damn near perfect. You wouldn't find it in a skate park because there's like more of a lip to it. It wouldn't just go rounded off and then to a curb, but there is on the curb. Someone recently took some skate stoppers, some skate knobs off. There is some skate knobs in the beginning, but the area that you can skate is all waxed up. Really cool spot. My point being that when you land something or do a trick somewhere like this spot versus a skate park that has a perfect bank, it is a different feeling. You get more of a satisfaction. It feels more 
um, I guess special to you where at a skate park it's more easily it's more accessible it's not as special it doesn't mean that it can't feel just as good in a skate park but it's just a different sensation that you get as a skateboarder I'm sure most of you know the feeling there's something about the imperfection being really fun to skate it's like the happy accidents as skaters like to call it so I'm gonna try to drop in maybe get a couple basic tricks on this spot I'm kind of scared and nervous right now because I was trying to board slide a bench earlier and I just stuck and landed on my back, landed on my wrist, kind of mangled myself, but I'm going to try to get a couple clips on this spot because it is so sick. And that's the difference. It's like if I was going to a skate park and there's a perfect bank, I probably wouldn't feel as inclined to skate it. But this spot, I got to get it wide. <laughs> definitely have to come back to this spot because I have a lot of different tricks I want to do. I want to get the back lift, a bunch of different tricks, but first let's head over to the skate park and talk about some of the good things about skate parks and maybe not so good things about schoolyards. Now we are at Chicano Skate Park downtown San Diego right underneath the Coronado Bridge. Really fun skate park, no fence around it, nothing like that. And that is the first perk to skate park. You don't have to jump a fence. The school that we were at previously did have a hole that was cut out through the chain link. Someone must have cut out probably a skater. So sometimes that is nice. People, skaters, they make it easy for schoolyards or they make little shortcuts in schoolyards to get there. So that can be a perk at times, but normally you are jumping a fence and someone like me with all my camera gear, that can be hard or other people that jump in and out. It can be kind of a barrier to entry. So the first thing about skate parks and much better than schoolyards is just being able to roll up and skate right away. One cool thing about Chicano Park is there's actually a concrete car here. It's very unique. Besides that, pretty standard obstacles though. They got quarter pipes, ledges. I don't think there's any flat rail here actually, but you know, very standard obstacles that are typically taken from a schoolyard. always I want to get your guys's feedback what do you think is good about skate parks so with schoolyards like what's the pros and cons because this is just my opinion but as always I want the community on here to kind of discuss this topic something else that's really good about skate parks is that you can find friends to skate with and that can push your skateboarding and then eventually go to schoolyards with those said friends or go to backyard pools with those said friends that's how I went to my first backyard pool ever is actually I met some friends at a skate park there's a backyard pool nearby they took me there that was the young days. I recently made a video about pole skating and if it's dead, check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, I think skate parks can really allow you to get better at skating. It's easier to progress and learn tricks here and it's easier to meet friends and meet other people maybe at a similar level so that you can progress with them. I'm not very big on using the word training for skate tricks. I think it's more like perfecting your craft, but skate parks can be really good for that as well. Obviously schoolyard, you're more prone to getting kicked out and bust factor. So your time at a schoolyard is normally limited. Sometimes you can go forever. Sometimes it's completely chill. You don't have to worry about it, but typically there's a time limit on that. So at skate parks, you can really hone in on your craft, really perfect your skill or a trick that you're trying to figure out. So all these are kind of perks of skate parks. You can go back and forth all day long though, because it's really all subjective. This is just my opinion on this topic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on this topic. Make sure you smash that like button if you did enjoy this video. Discussing these different things, it lets me know that you guys enjoy these kind of uh, topics. And we'll make more of these type of videos. Subscribe if you're not already. I appreciate all you beautiful subscribers. And we'll see you in the next one. Mash.